This lesson describes the use of the eyedropper tool and demonstrates its use within Flash Professional. So here I have a project open with two shapes on the stage. And these are just basic shapes. So as I click on them, you can see that they are indeed shapes from what's showing up in the Properties Inspector. And it each has a fill and a stroke applied to it. If I go over to the toolbar and select the eyedropper tool, we can demonstrate how this works. So notice when I hover over an object like this, the eyedropper also has a little paintbrush that appears next to its icon. When I click to sample, we can see that we have the paint bucket tool that's selected now. And over on the side here, we can also see that the fill color has changed to match that of our shape. So now if we go over to this circle shape and click that, the fill will dump in there just as if we were using the normal paint bucket tool. In a similar fashion, I can choose again the eyedropper tool and I can sample the stroke color. So we can see here that I get a little pencil next to my eyedropper. And if I click, it turns into what appears to be a little ink bottle. And also my stroke in the properties inspector has changed to match that. So moving over here, I can apply that stroke to the stroke of this other object. And now they both match. If I go and attempt to apply this stroke, of course, to my fill, it's not going to work because it's not a fill. So let's go to the eyedropper tool one more time. And we're going to sample our stage. So you can see that that actually worked. We don't have to sample between objects themselves. We can also sample between anything that's really visible on the stage at the time. However, when we apply the eyedropper, so after it turns into the paint bucket or the ink bottle, we're going to be a little bit constrained on what we can actually apply that stuff to. However, you'll notice that if we go into the color window that we have that color preserved right here. And if we go into our swatches, we can always create a swatch. So there's a swatch right there that we can use on any other object we want to. So in this lesson, we've seen how to use the eyedropper tool to sample and apply colors to various objects within Flash Professional CS6.